So in this first video in Flash, we're going to take a look at its interface. Now there are five main parts to the interface. The first part basically is this menu bar up here where you'll find lots of important things. One of the most important courses is Windows, and from that you'll be able to pull a number of commands. Just want to point out real quick here is by each one of these commands, there's actually the keyboard shortcut, and you're going to want to learn those, and it's easy to do because they're right here. So start practicing the keyboard shortcuts as much as you want. For example, here's the actions panel. You'll be hitting F9 so you can do some coding later on in this series. There's next the stage, and that's where you'll be creating objects and putting objects on there and moving them around and manipulating them. There's a timeline, which allows you to organize layers, program, and create tween motion. And there's a whole series of panels. Let me open that up for you a little bit. And you can see there's panels that you can work with and do different things. And uh, finally, the toolbar. So that's the fifth part. And you'll be using them to draw and do things with. So actually, let's just do a quick example and show you how all this stuff works together. Let me close this up. So let's create a button. So I'm going to come along here and grab this graphic and create a small little rectangle. And what I'm going to do here is grab this pointer and select the whole thing. And I'm going to convert that. And I can right click on that. And I can convert that to a symbol or go to modify and convert that to a symbol. Let's go ahead and convert it to a button. I'll we'll just call it my button. Hit it OK. And now you have a button in Flash. And if you double click on that, you can go to the button layers. And I'm going to actually distribute these layers across these different up, over, down, and hit states. The way I do that, I'm just going to hit the F6 key, and it's going to make a copy of what's already there. One, two, three. Now it's always the same, so when I roll over, I actually want to change color, so I'm going to come along here and click on that, and hit my color picker here, and just choose a different color. Let's put red, for example. And you see, it's only in that state that it's been changed. Okay? And now I come along here, go back to my scene, and go ahead and control test and see if my movie works. Now here's the uh, shortcut key, control enter on your keyboard, or control test movie. And when you roll over, you see it does indeed change colors. Let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the library. And what's that control shortcut? Control L, and I hit the library. There's my library, and there's my symbol, my button, and symbol 1. I'm going to right click on that and go to properties. And this is really important especially when you start dealing with OOP and object-oriented programming, is the ability to export this for ActionScript. So if I click that, I can now export my button and treat it as a class. And so that's the basics of the Flash interface, and you'll be doing a lot more with it in this series.